No. This ain't a putting green, man. This is money. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I'm your host, James Wise, and this is the show on Holden Wise TV where I work with people just like you, helping them buy properties like this, man. This is a beautiful, beautiful home, dude. This is amazing, man. Look at this little old lady thing right out of the 1960s, dude. That, for real estate investors, is it, it, it makes my mouth water. It should make your mouth water, right? Because my client, the guy I'm working with today, guy by the name of Brian, longtime investor out of California, bro, and you came to me because you're looking to flip some properties on a budget, right? You want to keep your budget small. You only want to spend about 120 k I got something right here that's going to be very close to that, all right? You're going to have to go back into the pocket just a little bit, brother, because what I got laid out here, I think you could knock out a hefty $20,000 profit, which is what your target was. I think you can knock that out with a total of $130,000. Let's explain. This property, 6848 York Road, Parma Heights, Ohio, just got listed for $107,500, and she is a beauty, bro. She's she's a beautiful house, man. Look at this nice brickwork. This is a solid neighborhood, by the way, uh, right by Tri C. That's uh, where I actually got my uh, my business degree from that school. Okay, now it's just right out of the '60s, dude. It's like we had like a little old lady, little old dude living up in there for probably 50, 60 years. Haven't changed a damn thing, right? Perfect, right? It's it's what we like to call in the business a house with good bones. Uh, but of course, you know, this isn't appealing to anybody other than leave it to Beaver, man. So this is exactly the kind of deal you want to target, brother. Everything cosmetically we need to go in and repaint all the walls, you know, hit them with a nice modern agreeable gray, get some white trim, pull all this old stinky dinky carpet from the friggin' 60s and 50s and whatever year it was. Hey lenders, wouldn't your logo look amazing up here? Send us an email at sales at holtonwise.com. Pull all that shag carpeting out, refinish all the hardwoods that are in there, or I, we like to refinish the hardwoods on the main floor, and since it's not a rental, it's going to be a flip. Just put carpet in the upstairs. The uh, furnace appears to be good, but you're going to want to spend a little bit of money installing a air conditioning, right? We don't usually do that for rentals, but for a flip, it's going to be very important to install some AC. So... For this all to work, for the numbers to work on this rehab, it all it goes without saying, uh, we're going to redo that kitchen and the bath, right? So for all this to work, uh, the repainting uh, that I talked about right on the low end, it's going to be about 35, could go as high as 65, doing the flooring, four to six, uh, knocking out the kitchens, 10 to 15, depending how high end you want to go, the bathroom, three to five, depending on how high end you want to go, and then additionally adding that AC unit, that's going to run you about four. Now, on the high end here, I have some other things that uh, could happen. I don't necessarily know if they will, uh, but that's what the home inspection's for, right? I don't know the condition of that roof, but if we did need to do a roof, it'd be six. If we did need to replace the hot water tank, it'd be a thousand. That furnace looked okay to me. Uh, if we have to upgrade the electrical, we'd be looking at around two, right? So renovation-wise, I believe with the information I have right now, we're going to be around a $24,500 budget, but uh, you know, it's possible that that could go as high as 46000 depending on what we find in that inspection report, right? Uh, so with the info we have now, the price, 107500 You can't pay that, of course. That's not going to work because our ARV is 150 right? Doing that rehab will sell this for 150 thus meaning we can spend $93,500, right? That's your max offer, ninety-three five, which will allow you to pay for the renovation I'm talking about, pay your commissions on the ARV sale, pay your closing costs, and hit your profit margin of 20 k So you can pay 93 dollars Brian, and hit your goal 
of making $20,000. Now, of course, if we go into that home inspection, it turns out we do need a roof. At that point, say we're under contract at 93.5, and it turns out we need a roof. At that point, I would go back to the sellers, and you know, we would work on a negotiation, man. Maybe we can get them to give you uh, another $6,000 discount, and you still can make your 20. Maybe they'll split it with you, and maybe end up making 17. You know, there's a lot of ways this could go. Uh, but this would be a solid deal for you, and it's only going to require $130,000 cash which is very close to your original budget of 120 if uh this one doesn't go through because again flipping houses is a numbers game right you know a lot of flippers out there a lot of developers are going to be looking at this nice solid high b-grade neighborhood like parma heights there's gonna be a lot of competition so if this one doesn't go through brother not to worry i got another film for you right now Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.